Hello there, David Taylor on Mr. Pelagonium back finally with another video for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. Uh, today is going to be a fairly quick one because I'm really busy with all kinds of things going on at the moment. Uh, a few tips and tricks for the summer. It's got very warm now in the UK during June. Uh, so let's get going. Well, hello there, it's really good to see you again. I, I do apologize, it's been about three weeks or so since I last done a video. Obviously, a lot of my time went into this year's national show, which happened last weekend. I'm filming this on Thursday, the 22nd of June. I've also had a, a media event going on. We'll leave it at that. I'll talk more about that at a later stage, but I'm not going to mention any more about that at the moment. There were two shows, Bristol show, local show relatively near to me, one of the few local shows for Pelagonium societies that are still left. Uh, I did win best in show, we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, and the national show, uh, which was last weekend, the 17th of June, uh, which I also won best in show again, perhaps with a slightly surprising plant that I really didn't think was going to be uh, in the running for a best in show. Uh, but we'll just have a little chat about that in a moment. I'm also going to do a couple of little tips and tricks uh, for when the weather is very warm, particularly in glass houses. Um, so let's get going. Where should we start? We'll go back sort of two weeks to the Bristol show. Um, now, one sort of larger hanging potted plant that you do not often see is this Rushmore Jan Wilson. This is a Steve Pollard uh, plant. And this one, the best in show at Bristol. Now, this is actually in a 10 inch hanging pot, um, which actually, as a, as a non-ivy leaf plant, this actually didn't qualify for the national show. May have to think about adjusting some of the classes for that. But this did very well. I mean, one or two of the blooms are just starting to go over, but this actually got the best in show at the Bristol show. It's a big boy. It really does well for me. It's got a slightly lax habit. It's a Stella. It's a gold leaf Stella variety. Uh, it's got a bit of Formosum hybrid in it, um, which gives a slightly more sort of pointed uh, leaf to it. Um, but it flowers like crazy uh, and always does really well for me. Uh, grows like a weed. Um, it's what, with, as with all Stellas, they need very little in the way of sort of watering. Certainly during the winter, don't need much water at all. Um, just a good feed uh, as and when, as I've always said, good balance feed in this one gives the, the good bloom coverage and good growth as well. But it's often parked because this hangs just in front of where I film. So I sometimes put it outside and put it out of the way. So you don't often see it in growing mode uh, at other times of year. But at this time of year, it really is a beauty. And I say I took that to the Bristol show and it did win the best in show. Now for the national show, I'll just plot that down here. This is what won the best in show. Uh, and it was a dwarf bold cherub. I mean, clearly, because of the balance, it's a very well-balanced plant. Some of these blooms have really gone over now. Um, but it's a bold cherub dwarf. It was the one decent dwarf that I had left. I lost a great number of them during the winter, as I've said. But this is the one, and this actually got best in show. Uh, presumably, because it's all well-balanced, there's following bud coming through. Uh, but, it, I mean, it... It's not at its best now. I mean, it's nearly a week later after the national show. It's been through two journeys. Uh, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's had a bit of a sort of damage in transport as well as a number of the blooms going over because it's been very, very humid this week in the UK, uh, which always, you know, knocks, out, knocks blooms on the head, realistically. So, I mean, I was up against some very good plants. Uh, and talking of the national show, I will, of course, do the video for the national show um, in, a, in a week or two. So, you know, look forward to seeing that where you'll see all the winners in all their glory. 
Uh, and I always, as I've said, I have to mention Bob Clark. He doesn't do any social media. He's not even got a computer. Um, he's of a slightly older generation. He's, he's certainly older than me, but he knows how to grow a pelagonium. Fantastic regals, fantastic dwarfs, and he really does know how to grow his plants. Um, so you'll see a good number of his varieties uh, that won like the best angel and best regal. I also did take my standards. This was my butterfly Brian West, which I did take. It was one of a number of standards that I took. And I thought that may well have been in the running for best in show, but I don't think it even got a look in, but I, I think that was pretty decent. So, um, but it, it won the class, it won the standard class, understandably. Uh, so, I mean, that was, that did quite well, realistically. Uh, I mean, we always have ones that miss the boat. This one now, this is one of my Shriven and Pearls. And this now is actually in full belt. Uh, could have done with a show this coming weekend, but this one missed the boat. It's at its peak now, really. One or two blooms just still to come, and it really is a peak plant. It's really looking really good, that plant, at the moment. Okay, so that, that's realistically all I'm going to mention about the shows for the time being. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of um, little tips and trips tricks for you. Um, one thing with a lot of heat in a glass house, I've got all the windows shut, obviously for sound purposes, uh, but the, the thing that you really need to ensure is that when it gets very hot in a glass house, you need to be very careful with your watering. Do not go over watering your plants. I would recommend if you're going to water them, you do it in the evening when it's cooling down. Um, and just a little bit of water because remember pelagoniums in a hot sort of environment like a glass house realistically only need small amounts of water because they go into almost like a winter mode. I've mentioned this on many occasions but I can't get over enough. You certainly don't want your root balls drenched in water um, when you've got real heat because the roots will just boil um, with a lot of wet root ball. There is a temptation, obviously, to give them more when it's very hot, but in pelagonium terms, it's probably very much a case of little and often, so be very, very careful with that. Um, now, deadheading, it's always important to keep the deadheading going, particularly with regals at this time of year, because regals just keep dropping bits of bloom. And with regals, you can see here, look, you, there is a temptation here, got the odd white fly coming as well, to go right back deep. Uh, but you will see another little flower uh, head breaking there. And so when you take a head off, you just want to go back to that point. There is a temptation to go back further, but just literally follow the stem back to the next point and just go as far as that when you're going to cut that. I'm not actually going to cut that one because that's, you know, that's nice and clean and still very healthy. So uh, you'll hear the kite singing up above that's uh, f uh, f flying above the greenhouse at the moment. Um, but that, yeah, that, that's a good point to remember. Don't go too deep with regals because you, there is a temptation then to lose any future flowering. So just go careful, particularly when you're deadheading, deadheading your uh, regal blooms. With Stellas, it's not so difficult. We have a look down at this one. I will pull another one up just for reference. Or, well, I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll actually do it for on this standard. Now, you will see, just like, I mean, this Stella, um, this is a zonal hybrid. But we've got, we've got a dead bloom there. All you need to do is go back to where it is on that stem and just literally snap it off. It's as simple as that. You go down on the stem. Uh, but as I said, on regals, they throw a whole sort of line of branch for the blooms, whereas for um, zonals, they actually flower on the actual main growing stem. Okay, so there we are. That's just about it for me today. I'm going to sort of wrap this one up because I didn't want to be overdoing it. I've got a lot of things to do. Over the next couple of weeks, I've got 
um, uh, the PAGS digital magazines to edit and things like that. And I do want to, there's also for uh, PAGS members going to be a specific show edition of the magazine uh, being published. So I'm going to be working on that. Uh, so there's a lot of things going on. So probably over the next couple of weeks, I will be a little bit sparse with my videos, but um, anything that I need to show, perhaps taking cuttings and, uh, and the like, over the next month, I will certainly be including. So I'm going to wrap it up for there, and I'll hopefully see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye from me for now.